I mean, to draw this steel, it's pretty simple. Um, I may not be doing it 100% correct, but I get it done. And I can do it rather fastly because you can just start copying stuff over. And, uh, but what you have to do is you take your palette and you want to switch to architectural. And you'll have a structural beam right there. And you click on it and you can start drawing them. But uh, there's nothing selected. Okay, let's try that over. Let's go. Structural beam. Let's draw on a lock layer. I'm going to unlock that real quick. Okay. Now, a structural beam. This, this is your styles. Now, these styles aren't in here. You have to load them. You're going to have a standard, which looks, you know, it's just a, a piece of uh, hollow steel, actually, I think. Yeah. So. In order to get there, what you need to do is you need to come in here and look and see what your common sizes are. Um, personally, I don't go by, I don't add weights because I'm, I'm not really worried about a half, of, you know, an eighth of an inch or even a half an inch. Because um, I'm going to stay an inch or two below the beams anyway. So, um, <clears throat> so I just get, I usually get like, a, uh, for in this case, it would be a W16, like 50, w, you know. Um, if you wanted to go in there and get your exact beam, you could. But the way you find these beams, is you want to go to Format, Structural Member, Catalog. Once you get into the catalog, you want to come down to here and find your beam. Now there are no bar joists in here. Um, I did find some on the Augie web website, and I will put a link in this blog to those structural beams, or those uh, bar joists. So anyways, yeah, you just come in here and you find the one you want, and then you click on it, and what you're going to do is you're going to add it. You could rename it if you wanted, and so that's a W27, which wasn't in our list, and then you add it, and it'll add in there. And you pick all the ones you want, load them up, and then they should be populated in your list. There it is, W27. And basically, when you start drawing these, um, I come in and off those lines that I had drawn in, which was these here. You know, I'll just follow those lines and start drawing them in. And as I'm doing so, as I'm doing so, I will come in here and set the elevations down at the bottom here. Now you have an elevation start and an end point, so you have to remember where you started. You know, so if you want to slope those beams, you can. If you want to slope them, you want to put the start point there end point there and it'll slope. If you just want them flat and level just type that in there. 12 foot 11.5 which would give you 12 11 and a half and boom it raises up. And the nice thing about this I like is because once you get it up off the floor now you just have a single line in plan view which doesn't get in your way but when you come into here you have your your 3D and we'll draw another one. Structural beam. And we'll go find the properties of that. That's a W five four. We'll make it a W eighteen. Now here's another thing too, is if you want bottom um, especially if you're connecting to something, you want to, you want bottom center. If you're working with top, you want to make sure that your justification is at top center. And so, 
font 3.5. And there you go. You have a beam that's 12 foot 3. It should be from the bottom. There you have it, 12 foot 3 and a half. So that's basically how you get the steel in there. And you can just draw and draw, and then you can start copying. If you have a bunch that are that are typical, you can just start copying them over. And that'll get your steel in there.